most Shopify merchants don't have a correct UTM setup or don't even know how it functions and what it actually brings. It does quite a remarkable job for attribution if set correctly. First and foremost, you should never trust a single data source, especially when it comes to advertising platforms. For example, here is a quite common scenario. You have made 10 sales and Facebook claims that it is 7, while TikTok does 5 and Google Ads comes up with another 5. You don't know which one is actually true, what you clearly know is you haven't made 17 sales. This is where the UTM comes into play, as it serves as a great means to collect all the data in Google Analytics. There will still be some sort of difference between the numbers, but the thing is, you will have a consolidated view on Google Analytics and a single source to compare with the platforms. Now, let's dive into your Facebook Ads settings and double check if your UTM is set correctly. Our end goal here is to get your campaign level data into Google Analytics just like this. Google Analytics should understand if the users are coming from a paid campaign or from an organic campaign. We will see this under Universal Analytics All Traffic and Source Medium Report. And if your UTMs are set correctly, you will see that it is classified as paid. And then you will also see the relevant metrics next to that. This is what we want to achieve. And now let me show you a bad example in which Google Analytics could not recognize the users. As you can see here in this specific store, there were a thousand users and Google Analytics tells us that 336 of them were referral that came from m.facebook.com and then 153 of them comes from l.facebook.com. As you can imagine, this is not so likely to happen. Google Analytics thinks these are referral because they either did not have the UTM parameters or the UTMs were not set correctly. So the result which we want to get is definitely not this because we want to know if this was a referral or if this was a campaign. And also furthermore, we want to see this campaign details not only here in this report, but also here we have these campaigns and all campaigns level. And here we should also see the campaign name, ad set name, campaign ID, etc, etc. As you can see here, all the data and the performance. So, of course, you can see most of these things in Facebook as well. But as I said in the beginning of the video, we don't trust one single source, especially if it's the advertising platform itself. That's why we need to check both. We need to check the Google Analytics reports and Facebook reports. And also, Lastly, Google Analytics will also tell you some different metrics that Facebook will not tell, for instance, average session duration. In this case, you could check you don't only see the revenue, but you can only see the average session duration of each ad group, ad set, campaign, etc. So that's why we need to make sure that all our campaigns in Facebook, in TikTok, in Bing, anywhere else should have the UTM parameters. Now let's check the Facebook settings and let's see how it actually should be. Of course, as usual, I will be walking you through one of the articles that I have written. Actually, this is quite old, almost a year ago. Here you have everything that you need to know, all the details, etc. Don't worry now, I will not read the article. I just wanted to show you because you will need to copy this code block and you need to use this in the Facebook settings. That's why we are here. You can simply search Google UTM Setup Shopify and then this article will come here. Ideal UTM Setup on Facebook Ads for Shopify stores. Of course, I will also link below so you can check here. Let's go to your Facebook Ads Manager and this setting, UTM settings on Facebook Ad is done at the ad level. I know you know it, but most of you make it wrong, just like on this example. So here we have the website URL section. But as you can see here in this example, the UTM source is added at the end of the URL. This is completely wrong because there is a specific section for that. There is tracking section and then there is URL parameters section here. I am not saying this will not fully work, but it is risky. It can be overwritten by something else and you cannot mass do this. You cannot mass replace it. But if you use this section, you can apply this all of your ads, only one single code, and then all your ads will get the dynamic data. So in this example, as you can see here, the UTM source is hard coded, it's written manually. This is also not needed. The UTM medium, everything is written manually, but this is so 
time consuming plus you might make a mistake here. Okay, this is the name of this campaign, but you have maybe tens of campaigns and you add the new ones and then you keep copying the wrong UTMs. So better to use a dynamic UTM structure. As you can see here, the Facebook already gives us that option. So as UTM source, I put the placement and then UTM medium paid. This should be either paid or PPC because that's what Google Analytics wants from you. UTM campaign, I put the campaign name, UTM ID, campaign ID, term ad ID and UTM content ad set name. If you just copy this, and of course for this specific thing now, we will paste it here. But we shouldn't have in the both places. This is completely wrong. This is a mistake. So that's why we just need to go and delete this. You need to make sure that your URL here should be clean. The URL here should not have any UTM parameter or something like that. The UTM parameter, the correct place for UTM par parameter is exactly here. So once you do this and save it, this specific campaign ad group will start sending the correct data using the UTM. And of course, this is only one ad group, one ad set here. You need to do it in all of them. You can use the bulk replace option and add this to each of your campaigns, each of your ad groups in one, in one shot so that you don't need to redo it all the time. Obviously, I won't do it now because I don't want to touch this account. This doesn't belong to me. I just took it as an example here. But this is how it works. This is how UTM works. And it is actually that simple. You will just need to copy this from the website and then you paste it here. Why do I let you copy from the website? Because we might upgrade it, we might change it, we might add a warning to this article. That's why in every video of mine, I, took, I take our website as a reference because YouTube doesn't let me edit the videos, but I can always edit the articles. If something changes here, I could put a warning and by the time you are watching the video, maybe you will see another content here, which is really good. That's why I wish you go to website and copy the code. Apply this to all of your ads and then you will just come to analytics. Of course, it will not apply to the past. It will apply to the future only. But when you come to the analytics, you will see your campaign level metrics done correctly. This is how you should be doing it. And this is not only for Facebook ads. This is for all of your external links. For instance, if you are running email campaigns, Klaviyo and those kind of platforms automatically adds it. So you don't need to worry about it. But you should always make sure to check this source and medium report and if, see if you see something uncommon here. Another nice example could be your Instagram account. For instance, you might be using Linkpop or Bitly or these kind of solutions to, to show multiple links on your profile. That's what we do. And here, for instance, you can see there is a link to App Store, Analyzeify on App Store. As you can see here, link is just like, a, I'll just copy the link and paste it here. It doesn't have any UTM parameters. So if I just click, I will see Analyzeify app. But when I check the Google Analytics reports, I will never know where this specific visitor came from because this is just a normal link without a UTM parameter. If I were to add UTM parameters here, let's do it together. Google has a really cool tool called UTM Builder. Let's just go to that. And what will I do? I'll just click this app and campaign ID, campaign source, I'll say link pop, campaign medium, I will say Instagram and campaign name. As you can see, these are three required fields. Campaign name, I could say Analyzeify on App Store button. Now, as you can see here, I have a new link with the UTM source in it and I could just copy this and paste it into the link pop. And from now on, Google Analytics will recognize the users who came through this link. This is how it works. So external links should be UTM'd. And uh, I don't know if I could use it as a verb, but I, I already did. So you should add the UTM to your external links so that you can track them in Google Analytics. I usually make more sophisticated, more technical videos, but I see lots of requirements from you guys. So from now on, I will also try to make this kind of simple videos, but I see this mistake all the time. So it seems simple, but it's actually, it can cause a lot of harm or it can bring lots of benefits. So my recommendation is add the UTM to all your ads, Facebook, Bing, 
TikTok. You don't need to worry about Google Ads. Google Ads automatically does it. But just add it to your ads and then also check the performance of those ads using your Google Analytics campaigns or source and medium reports. This was the Universal Analytics. If you are using GA4, Google Analytics 4, still that's fine. Uh, Google Analytics 4 has the similar reports. So that's all. If you are not using Google Analytics 4, we have another video which I explain how to set up Google Analytics 4 on Shopify. Make sure to check that one as well. So let me know if you are curious about any other things, how, what kind of videos. So I hope it was helpful and make sure to add the UTMs one more time. Have a great day ahead. See you in another video.